hello everyone today we are going to start with sql and uh, the topic is introduction to sql so what is sql sql basically stands for structured query language uh, it is a standard language for storing manipulating and retrieving data in databases so what we can do with sql is we can uh, store manipulate and retrieve the data from the databases okay so uh, it supports distributed databases offering users great flexibility what does it mean uh, distributed database uh, means that it uh, a set a set of databases stored in multiple computers that typically appear to applications as a single database so consequently what happens an application can simultaneously access and modify the data in several databases in a network and hence it offers a great uh, user flexibility it allows users to access and manipulate data stored in relational database management systems so what it does is ki it allows users to access and manipulate whatever the data is stored in the relational database management system now what is relational database management system it is a database system that stores and retrieves data in a tabular format organized in the form of rows and columns and it is a smaller subset of database management system and uh, uh, talking about sql again that it is case insensitive and by case in insensitive we means uh, that it can you have both uh, upper case and lower case alphabets sql syntax for every for any language uh, the syntax is very important and hence we have uh, some syntax for sql as well so let's consider a table as students and to extract all the data from students table we use the below syntax and what the syntax here says is select asterisk from students and what asterisk means is select everything that students table con contain and by everything we mean all rows and all columns so this statement this sql statement will ret uh, retrieve will view all the data that is stored in the students table is semicolon must so in the last uh, syntax you have seen that there is a semicolon at the end so is this necessary uh, can't we write an sql code without a semicolon let's understand some database systems require a semicolon at the end of each sql statement okay semicolon is the standard way to separate each sql statement in database management system that allow more than one sql statement to be executed in the same call to the server so understand that if we have a single statement then there uh, won't be any issue if you have semicolon or no but if you have multiple statements to be executed at the same time at the same server then there needs to be a semicolon that separates the two statements basic sql commands so uh, writing sql statements needs uh, some sql commands and today we'll just have a brief view about uh, the basic sql commands there are a lot of sql commands that we need to understand and we need to use in our uh, work but today we'll have a look at few of them so the first one comes up is select this is the very first word that we use in our sql commands and hence uh, that comes up uh, the first in the list so what does select command do it extracts data from database as it uh, speaks of itself and update updates data in database delete deletes data from a database insert into it inserts new data into a database create database it generally creates a new database alter database it modifies an existing database create table it creates a new table alter table it modifies an existing table create delete table it deletes an existing table create index it creates an index and drop index it drops an index thank you that was all from an introduction 